Jesus Navas is straight up garbage. It's a clear out. It's a clear out. Pep Guardiola is building for next season and is taking no prisoners. It's time for people to leave. Who's on the chopping block? Willy Caballero, Jesus Navas, Gil Clichy. I believe he's a class B. I think he's been in the Brick Academy for the past two years um, or three. And Bakri Sanya. Bakri Sanya is actually quite funny because, again, you left Arsenal to go to Man City because you thought you could then regain your career. But really, ever since moving to Man City, you've pretty much become pretty irrelevant. Boldiola is clearing out these boys. He needs these guys out, okay? Because that's how Boldiola rolls. That's how he rolls. Um, and this obviously goes into my points and coincides with the points that City are going to be very competitive and very good next season. Because remember, I thought Gorilla did really well for Man City this season. Yes, he made some mistakes, some tactical mistakes. John Stones, defensively, wasn't really that great. But I thought when City played well, they played really well. And once they really had all of their players and everybody was really going to it at, at the top level, these guys, I told you, look, look at their last few games. They were smacking open guys, okay? They were doing some lubrications and some reincarnations. But you look at these guys. I thought Caballero was good. I thought he actually was a very good deputy, and he actually made he actually performed better than Claudio Bravo. So I think he's pretty unlucky for him to have the chopping block because I think to myself that are you going to record your hearts, get another keeper? Are you going to stay with Bravo? I think Caballero is a very good um, no, no, number two. Um, but I do feel that for Caballero, maybe he needs to find first in football. Jesus Navas is straight up garbage. He's horrible. I don't think Navas has actually managed to actually put in a successful cross in the past four, five or six years. Because this guy, I think back when he was in Spain, this guy, he was high. But my gosh, literally, every single cross doesn't even beat, beat the defender. He literally smacks the ball straight into, into the defender's face. Clichy is horrible. I mean, for Arsenal, he was good. But ever since he's come to Man City, just horrible. The amount of mistakes he makes, his positional sense is completely garbage. So again, it makes sense. For Sanya, yeah, I, I said for Sanya, like... Far better when he was at Arsenal. Same thing with the cliche, but Sane was actually really good for Arsenal. When he gets Man City, just it, it, it really didn't pop off. It didn't pop off for him, and it really it was pretty disappointing, you know, to um as 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 to what he did because again he was he was he never really held down a place. So yeah, I mean, and who can he walk into? Because I think Sane he's declined so much because he's hardly been playing. Again, very dumb whenever you go and chase titles. Because, yeah, you have all the medals, but you've hardly been playing, you've been deteriorating, and you've lost your place in the France squad, and your stock has, has, has gone down. And for Zabaleta, I think for Zabaleta, you know what? He's been one of um, City's crucial, crucial players. A quality, quality, dependable, consistent right back, superb professional. And, uh, and again, he deserved that sending off. I think him and Kabir are amongst the best of these guys being taken out. And for City, I think... This is what he's doing. So obviously he knows that he's getting a whole new defense. Um, because you have Zabaleta, Clichy, Sanya, three defenders all, all gonna go out. Obviously, John Stones is one for the future, and I think he's gonna get two or three young, pretty good defenders who play in in his own image. And I think for Navas, again, a dependable, better winger who actually knows how to, how to cross a down ball. And for keeper, who's, who who can he get? You tell me which keeper can he get? Because he, he can't get the hair, he can't get Noya, he can't get Buffon, he can't Kelo Navas? Because if Kelo Navas leaves Real Madrid and the hair goes to Real Madrid, maybe he can go and nab Kelo Navas, who is still a very good keeper. But although I think United and Real Madrid don't want to do a swap deal. But again, I don't know which other key Leno, Leverkusen, that's a possibility. I think he's a really good keeper, but how much will would he cost and will Leverkusen be want one want, want, want to take him? That's the only other keeper I can think of who they can possibly get. Um, for a nice price. Um, but yeah, man, you know, it's, it's exciting times for City. And I repeat to myself, next season, City are going to be popping off with your main man, Boldio. Jesus Navas is straight up garbage.